All right, so today I'm going to do a user review on uh, this Headrush MX-5. Uh, I've had it about a month now, and I got it for studio work. I don't ever really see myself replacing my tube amps on stage, but I wanted to get something that I could set up in the studio to work quickly, external of my computer, but plug direct in to uh, get a good tube amp tone that I could take with me other places. So, I mean, I've been traveling a little bit with work, and uh, being able to take this to a hotel room with me and, and record through my MacBook Pro and uh, I'm finding some really useful features with that and really surprised with the sound. So uh, today I'm going to be playing it through my uh, M-Audio Studio speakers. And I'm going in through my uh, Mackie Pro FX mixer. Alright, well I decided to give amp modeling a try after uh, seeing the footage of, uh, of Josh over at JHS Pedals admitting that he's had everyone fooled for a year on YouTube using uh, amp modeling rather than the tube amp that he's had sitting next to him. That, uh, that was a great video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check it out. Uh, anyway, well, I was impressed and decided that the technology has finally made it. You know, I had a pod in the, back, in the past. We have all had Line 6 stuff, and it just wasn't there. It wasn't as good as, as a tube amp. But uh, the technology's finally got to the point where you know it feels like a tube amp, not just sounds like it. So uh, I really like this because it's set up like it's got a, a touch screen on it, and you set everything up like you would uh, your pedal board. You also have a selection of amp heads, different cabinets. You can select different speakers, and uh, for those who are a little more tech savvy into it, uh, they have something called uh, impulse responses that. You know, doesn't have a fancy little picture on it, but um, definitely has uh, has the sounds, and I mean, it's really come come close to sounding like a tube amp. So um, this is uh, my setup that I'm using right now. I kind of got the amp based off of a, a Saldano, and they have a really nice uh, nice quant emulator in there. So I've got some really good classic tone. Uh, it sounds amazing with uh, with the Strat Les Paul PRS. You know, whatever, it just it sounds great. So I'm gonna play a couple of sound samples. boosted tone that I've got set up. Uh, I've got a, a clone clone, a, a white boost, and I've got a tube screamer. And the way I've got them set up, uh, you know, just like just like a classic amp, you uh, you set the right one in front of the other and they sound amazing. So I've got the climb set up going into the white boost, and I've got the tube screamer going into both of those. So if I turn the climb off, and turn the tube screamer on. You get a uh, get another classic sound.
tube screamer and say uh, it's a really good crunchy tone, it's still going into the white boost to give it just that little extra high end. Now, if you put the climb between the uh, between the tube screamer and the boost, you get a great lead tone. <laughs> For, uh, for recording direct. Uh, you can go line out into, uh, to line out for, uh, for a mixer or you know, just for a regular sound system. And uh, it also has a setting where you can go out to an amp, but I mean, you've already got your amp tone in this thing. So I, uh, I prefer to go into a mixer into my computer. And yeah, I mean, I love the tone I'm getting out of it. You know, just drop a line, let me know what you think. Uh, if you like what you see, please give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel. So, thank you all very much.